Unfortunately, I didn't have as much luck as you did. Those damn red eye rotters are swarming all over the wreckage of my ship. I worry it's bad luck leaving behind my own treasures, but I can't get through the bastards. Now there's a good mate. Tough one too, if you're so confident. No complaints though. Tell you what, if you can get my stuff back, I'll give you a greater share of our profits. 40, 60, or what the hell, 30, 70. What do you say? Most of our cargo was lost at sea, and I got my captain's log on the way out. What's burning me now is leaving behind my ship's flag and my lucky wheel. Get those, and then maybe we meet at that watchtower. Works for me.
Oh, welcome back, my friend. Glad to see you're still with us. I was elated to meet another survivor, but I feared we lost you in the process. Oh, Grace O'Malley. A real piece of work, isn't she? Can't say I would have wanted to make that trade. While you were away, I think I may have located the source of this endless storm. There's a network of sea caves nearby where the corrupted seem to be gathering. Something nefarious is going on in there. I feel certain of it. See, now there's someone willing to step up. I can't do this alone. I thought perhaps our new friend might join as well, but uh, she's not really the joining type, is she? I suspect you'll be wasting your breath, but give it a go. Why not, right? I'll go ahead and scout out the entrance to the caves. Whether she comes or not, I'll meet you there. Look, I'm as grateful as can be that you reclaim my flag and all. But don't ask me to go on a fool crusade against those red-eyed demons. I don't need a medal of valor. Just a coin for me, thank you very much. Good old Watcher Lace and Reese says there's a town. I'll head there and sell this loot. I'll set your part aside until you get there. For my part, I'll be saving up for a ship to escape this hellish island. Oh, I heard a lot of stuff from Watcher Lace and Reese, but I don't believe even half of it. Besides, Captain Grace O'Malley never met a storm she couldn't navigate. I'll find a way. You can come with me, if you like. Have it your way, hero. I just hope you don't end up as one of those monsters yourself. Don't worry about me burning you on the loot. You did me a favour and I'm good for it. As long as you survive, that is. I'll be there. Hey, you gave it a try at least. Ugh, that Grace O'Malley's a pirate to the bone. Doesn't care about anyone but herself. Looking at the corrupt and massing here, however, neither her nor anyone else will be safe if this keeps up. I don't know. If we both fall in there, there'll be no one to get word to town. I certainly don't trust that pirate to do so. I say we head back to town and recruit as many sword arms as we can, and then come back. Damn it, I'd forbid it. But I fear you're right. Their numbers are growing too fast. Go then, but be quick about it. Look for the source of the storm and destroy it. I'll meet you back at the watchtower. Godspeed, my friend. And they shall witness the power manifest, the true future of the human race.
God's teeth! When I saw the storm receding, I knew you had triumphed. What was in there? Some kind of abomination? A corruption rift? Oh, I've heard legends of such things from way back. disrupted it. That's a story fit for legend right there, I'd say. Uh, you have no idea what a relief this is. I didn't want to sound pessimistic, but nothing like this has happened in the 300 years I've been here. Those who've been here longer, the ones who haven't been driven mad by all the years, they tell horror stories about the corrupted. It seems that centuries ago, some dark sorcerer nearly corrupted everyone on the island. I suspect we'll see more corrupted in the future, but let's hope we can prevent such darkness as the legends speak of. Still, I'll write a report for the town. Tell them the storm's receded. 
but to remain vigilant. Uh, I hate to ask you to be the bearer of bad tidings, but I should stay here. Just deliver the report to the guard at the gate. Then get yourself a nice cup of mead at the tavern. You deserve it. <laughs>